Did you know that in Arizona, it's illegal for a donkey to sleep in a bathtub? Or in Arkansas, you can't honk your horn near a coffee shop after 9 p.m. 8.58 p.m., have at it. After nine, uh-uh. Or in Hawaii, it's illegal to place a coin in your ear. And when it comes to bikes, the laws aren't quite that weird, but they do vary significantly state to state. So we're mixing it up today. We're doing a, this is not a bicycle ride. We're doing a little hike uh, with the creature up in Big Bear. Hey, creature. And when I'm done talking, I'm gonna put the camera on creature. I'm gonna do the creature cam like I did my wedding and then we'll mix it up. So it'll be a little Blair Witchy and you don't have to be bored of my face. So my friends at Bike League have partnered up with different law firms to cover all kinds of states. And let me do this little video to tell you more about it. So one good example of that is FTR laws. Now FTR stands for far to the right. Uh, so in a lot of places, there's no federal law on this, but in a lot of places you have to be as far to the right as a bicycle uh, as practicable. Now, practicable obviously is subjective. Also, I don't know what it means. Is it practicable? I think it's practicable, but what's practicable to you might be different from what's practical to me. Uh, for example, what if there's, you know, cracks in the side of the road, if there's not enough of a shoulder? Uh, what if I'm going for a KOM and the line down the middle is super smooth pavement, but over there is gonna cost me five watts? You know, that's not practicable. Now in some states, it's illegal to ride your bike on a sidewalk. Uh, in other states, California is one of these. There's no statewide law against it, but a bunch of cities have laws against it. Some states require bikes to act as, uh, as traffic, so you follow traffic lights. Other states, you actually are expected to follow the pedestrian signals at certain intersections. Some states require you to have lights uh, on your bike at night, front and rear. Others, there's crazy stuff that wouldn't even work on a road bike. Like you have to have reflectors like on your pedals. I don't know if speed play, speed play definitely doesn't do that. Pretty sure nobody does that for like our geeky clippy pedals. Then helmet laws are like all over the place, of course. I saved the best for last, of course, which is the infamous Idaho stop. Now, the Idaho stop only happens in Hawaii. No, I'm just kidding, it's in Idaho. Now, in that case, a cyclist can treat a traffic light as essentially like a four-way stop, as a stop sign, and if it's safe, we can cruise through, which people get mad, cyclists run lights. How about the part where I'm stopped at Laurel Canyon forever because my bike doesn't trip your little doohickey pavement uh, street sensor thing? I have to run that, I'm gonna run that every time. In college, I would ride around on a fixie like all the other annoying hipsters. And at a stop sign there, you, you weren't actually stopped technically per their stupid laws unless you put a foot down. Uh, so I could, on the fixie, I could actually be literally moving backwards, but by their definition, they could give me a ticket and they were giving tickets for that back then. And a lot of times the cops don't even know the laws. So how are you gonna expect the motorist to know it? I was, when I lived in, in Gainesville, Florida, I was on, I was on one of the major streets there, but there's a, there was a bike lane. I was riding with a buddy, but there's two lanes for cars and then a bike lane kind of cut out of it. So we were, part of us was in the main car lane where there's plenty of room to go around. A cop like drove past us and then actually stopped, let us pass him and pulled us over. Uh, and he was like, sir, guys, you can't ride two abreast uh, in the state of Florida. I was like, well, that's definitely not the rule. It's absolutely legal to ride two abreast, as long as you're not impeding traffic. And I was nice about it. I was just like, no, that's what you just said is wrong. You can't, he's like, well, well y'all were impeding traffic. And I was like, you flew right by us and there's nobody here. And then he just did a, well, like, don't let it happen again. And I was like, yes, sir, officer. Um, but that's what we're up against. To the point here, what Bike Legal wanted to get across in this video is wherever you are, uh, look up the laws, Google it, Know the laws for your state, where you are, or wherever you're traveling to. But it's important to have a, a legal representative who has experience in your state or preferably your city specifically. Uh, give a follow or save the number or just remember Bike Legal has representatives. They have multiple in California, Arizona, Utah, Oregon, Iowa, Idaho, New York, New Jersey. 
I cut the camera there because I thought I forgot one. I went and looked at it. No, I got them all right. If you're somewhere else, uh, they'll help you out. So hit them up either way. Uh, check out my link below. We'll give you like a list of contacts. Thanks, Bike Legal. Thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy some creature cam as long as you feel like it for the rest of this video. All right.